Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a fire station. And a fire engine. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you make it to the end of the video, you'll get to see where we place this in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the fire station. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make the fire station itself. However, we will also need these materials right here to make the fire engine. Begin by placing a row of seven bricks extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then extend all the way down to the ground. Extend left by two, one, two. We now want to destroy this block in the ground, replace it with smooth stone, and then place an oak door on top. We then want to place a brick right of this door with a polished black stone button in front of the brick, glass pane in this empty space, three bricks on top, one, two, three, and then a glass pane. We then want to fill the remaining space in this wall in using bricks. We then want to place a layer of smooth quartz slab across the top of the door and left and right of it, with a lantern hanging down below in front to the left. Next, we want to place a red concrete here. So as you can see, it is just left to the fire station and we leave a gap of one. Extend it to the left by three, one, two, three, and then add another row on top of it. This is going to be a sign which literally just says fire. So we are going to throw down a loom, open it up, place a white banner in there with some black dye. The first letter we have to make is F, which is the pale dexter pattern, followed by the chief pattern, and then the fest pattern. Next is I, which is simply the pale pattern. Next is R, which is the chief pattern, the pale dexter pattern, and then the bend pattern. And lastly, we want to make E, which is the Pale Dexter, Chief, Fess, and then Base. We then want to apply our banners to the sign F-I-R-E. Fire. Next, we want to come to the right side of our build and extend the side of this backwards by four rows. One, two, three, four. And then we want to build up this wall as high as the wall that we have at the front of the build. We then want to extend the back of the build across and line it up with the front and then we can build up the rest of this wall to be as high as the surrounding walls. And then lastly on this final side we can simply just fill the entire wall in using bricks. We are going to replace the floor inside of the station using smooth stone and then we are going to use glass for the roof. Next, we want to extend the middle of the right side of the building out by one row using bricks. Then we want to place a block of iron behind and to the right of the brick and extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. Place a brick in front of and to the right of the iron. Extend the brick up by two. One, two. Do the same over to the left. We then want to place a block of iron on the left and right sides of the row of iron with iron bars in between. Place a block of iron across the top of the iron and the iron blocks. We then want to add a layer of red concrete extending from across the top of the row of bricks left to right and then extend it an additional row forwards just like this. We want to dig out the area in front of the garage door, extending all the way to the grid. We then want to fill this in using cyan terracotta. 
And then we are going to dig out all of the other remaining blocks inside of the front of the grid, extending all the way over to the left, lining up with the left side of the building, and we will replace all of those. Next, we want to extend the right side of the garage backwards by 12 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we want to raise these up to equal the height of the rest of the wall. And we can even add a row of red concrete on top as well. On the back of the build, we want to extend the brick wall here to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are going to extend forwards and connect to the opposite end of the garage. Whilst we do this, we also want to build up all of the bricks to equal the height of the bricks surrounding. And... We also want to dig out the inside of the garret. Add a row of smooth stone along the side closest to the building, and then fill the rest of the area in using cyan terracotta. We then want to fill the roof in using red concrete. So we're just going to extend it from the front all the way to the back and we will have it overhang the back of the building by one row. Behind the main building, we want to add an additional row of three, one, two, three bricks that extends out of the back bottom of the building. We can then add red concrete on top and then extend that out an additional row as well. We also want to add leaves starting on the right side of the build here, extending all the way to the back of the build, across the back of the build, forwards, across, and then we want to connect to... With the entire outside of the fire station complete, we can now head inside and get to work on the interior. First of all, we are going to destroy a row of two brick along the back of the inside of the station, and then we will replace this row of dirt here with smooth stone. We also want to access inside of the garage by destroying a couple of rows of bricks extending to this direction, and then extending inwards just one row like this. You could actually have a couple of rows so that opens it up a little bit more, but we then want to replace the floor like this and add a door here. Inside of this room, we are going to have some supplies that firefighters might need. So a couple of cauldrons here with tripwire hooks above the cauldrons, and you can fill one or both of these with water. In the corner, a grey shulker box and a light grey shulker box stacked on top of each other, and left of this a chest, and left of that an armor stand. We are going to place an item frame above the chest with an iron axe in it. Then we are going to kit out the armor stand with the firefighter uniform. So gold helmet, neverite chest plate, legs, and neverite boots. And I think that, that looks perfect. You can light the end of the garage up with a couple of lanterns if you like, and you shouldn't need too much more light. So now that we have completed the entire inside of the fire station, I want to show you two things. The first of which involves this garage door. So this garage door can either be left closed like this, or you can alter the door to make it so there is open, which means you just kind of want to flip it up in this direction. You may even want to add an extra row of iron at the bottom so that it clips out of the red concrete. And then we would just have to add a couple more blocks, so some cyan and some smooth stone, just like this. I mean, you could even connect the smooth stone to the inside if you were going to have it open so that it seemed a little bit more cohesive. But the point of this is that we can actually fit a fire truck in here. Which of course brings us on to this next part, how to make a fire truck. I'm going to build mine just off to the side of the fire station, and to begin building we place a red concrete on the ground, next to it a furnace, red concrete, ladder in front of the furnace, glow item frames in front of the red concrete, and acacia buttons on the sides of the red concrete. 
glass pane along the top of what we have just placed, and then behind the red concrete we place black concrete powder with stone buttons on the outside of the powder. We are then going to place polished deep slate stairs in between the concrete powders. We then want to place red concrete on top of the powders and then behind, extending up just like so. We also want to extend a row of red concrete behind and above the chair on the inside. And then we want to extend the middle of the back of the fire truck backwards by three rows. One, two, three and then extend left, and then right. We then want to add a black concrete powder, left and right, with red concrete in between, and then extend above and across. We then want to add an extra row of red concrete on the left and right sides. We then want to add ladders up the middle here. And on the sides of the build, we also want to place stone buttons extending out of the concrete powder and acacia buttons extending off of the back corners of the vehicle. We also want to have smooth stone underneath this ladder here and smooth stone in between the front and the back of the vehicle in the ground. On both the left and right sides of the vehicle, we want to place a cauldron in this alcove with a tripwire hook above it, and then a crafting table to the right, item frame and iron axe, and we do of course want to duplicate this on the opposite side as well. You can invert them if you like. Next, we want to place a row of smooth quartz slab across the top of the window at the front of the vehicle. Then we want to place smooth quartz block behind, extend backwards and along the red concrete. We then want to place smooth quartz slabs above where we have the alcoves on the left and right side of the fire engine, like this. And then we want to add redstone torches here at the front of the vehicle, just left and right above the wheels. We also want to place a set of rails extending all the way across the top middle of the vehicle. We then want to place oak trap doors flipped up left and right of the rails, leaving the first row alone. And that is the fire trunk complete. And if you are so inclined, you can actually fit this inside of the garage except for the ladder across the top, but that's not really a big deal. So that is it for this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen, but this is not the end of the video, as now we have to add our fire station and fire engine into Mini City. This may seem a little bit obvious, but I am going to place the fire station right next to the police station. They go together like birds of a feather. And that's it, I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you are enjoying watching Mini City develop as much as I am enjoying making it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next one, good bye.